You may not play sports, but folks benefit from athletics and their families coming to Macon for athletic events. Tennis, high school wrestling, and high school basketball make up the top three money makers for Bibb County. But as Suzanne Lawler shows us, there is another sport quickly gaining ground. This weekend, you'll see the courts at Tattnall Square Park filled up as a pickleball tournament comes to town. The folks at the Convention and Visitors Bureau say it should generate about $100,000. That is not a lot when it comes to the economic sports pie, but pickleball is looking to make a dent. I do. I do, yeah. Joseph Garcia is a Mercer student. He and his friends took a break from the books to battle it out at pickleball. I was kind of surprised to see five other students who knew how to play pickleball. It's growing in popularity. Last year, Macon hosted one tournament, and this year they've got five on the books, including ones they had to bid for against other cities in Georgia. The newly formed Georgia Pickleball Association is going to hold their uh, state tournament here too. Paul Midkiff plays a key role in getting those big events to choose Central Georgia. He says it's an easy sell because of our central position in the state and the fact that folks can bounce quickly to downtown. We can get a lot of pickleball players here and then we can send them out to a, a restaurant, uh, a bar, let them have a good time and then for a tournament they come back the next day and do the same thing all over again. And that routine can really boost economic impact. Some of the bigger tournaments that are up in the Atlanta area are drawing uh, like 900 players. Midkiff says we might be able to poach some of those folks, especially if the city opted for flooring at the Macon Centriplex to create an indoor pickleball experience. That is prime spot because you have the hotel attached to it. The Convention and Visitors Bureau will have a better idea of how pickleball is growing in the area once they track this year's tournaments. And as for Joseph. Unfortunately, we did not win, but I would call it a good game. A good game that wants to become a player in Macon. Suzanne Lawler, 13 WMAZ News. And in the past hour, Paul Midkiff let us know they just added two more tournaments. If you're interested in playing in a pickleball tournament, Midkiff says they will have one during the Cherry Blossom Festival coming up in March.